So I am going to teach you how to go from this to this in no time. And all you're going to need is a stocking cap of some sort or a dome cap if you have thick hair. You're going to need bobby pins or hair pins, combs of any size or width, and a hairbrush. And you will also need clippings of your choice. You can either buy them already made or you can make them. I have a video in the description box. So what you're going to do, you're just going to brush your hair forward and you're going to part your hair from ear to ear. And this is just how I do it because I just want to make it all blend. So I'm just going to leave out the front of my hair. And I'm going to just twist and pin my hair out of the way because I'm going to work from the back to the front. So next I'm just going to take the back of my hair and I'm going to part a horizontal line in the center of the back of the head and I'm going to brush the hair forward moving it to the left. I'm going to attempt to wrap my hair and don't worry it's very easy it may look hard but it is easy and just continue to wrap your hair around your head and then you're going to take the brush and you're just going to smooth the wrap out because you want it as flat as possible. Next, you're just going to take your stocking cap and you're going to place it onto your hair. Um, and you just want to make sure that it's lined up with the part that you um, did part from ear to ear. Now you can see it's very flat. And you're just going to work on top and like I said, make sure that it's even with the part. All the way around. And then next you're just going to take your clip-in and this is pre-measured and it does have combs. So what you're going to do is starting with the center comb, you're going to slide it through the cap and snap it closed. And on both ends you're going to do the same thing. And like I said, the combs will go through the cap and will fit very tightly because it's going to grab uh, your hair itself. And then you're just going to move on with the rest of the clip-ins, working your way up. And I know a lot of people will want to know exactly where I got my clip-ins from. I am wearing Magic's Hair Company clip-ins. This is the Virgin Indian Wavy Hair. And I love it because it blends so amazing with my hair. But if you do not have... Um, the funds to go ahead and buy those type of clip-ins you can make your own I do have a video like I stated before that will teach you how to make clip-ins down in the description box And now I'm just taking a smaller piece I have one clip on this piece here and I'm just going to attempt to close in the U part shape that you see here and I'm just going to start by uh, placing this one single piece like more towards the left and then the other um, single clip in more towards the right. Taking the final piece, I'm going to close off the U-shaped part and I'm just going to make sure that I clip the combs underneath the cap because you want um, the clips to go underneath the cap and attach to your hair. And this will hold the cap in place and it will actually hold it right near the part that you've made. And this will just make it easier to blend your real hair over um, the actual part itself. So you can see it's very close and very flat. From a distance, it does look like a sew-in, so you don't have to, you know, tell people, oh yeah, I'm wearing clip-ins. No, it looks like a sew-in and it's very secure, it's not going anywhere. Now, to style the leave out, you can do more than one way of styling. You can comb all of your hair back um, and it will cover the actual clip-in that's right at the center of the head. Or you can just put your bangs out, kind of like what I'm doing, and just put it behind the ear on both sides and it just easily blends. Or you can do the two strand twist and have it wavy and then put a headband to go on about your day and of course don't wear white but this is the only one I had really close to me or you can do my old time favorite hairdo which is some up some down so just comb your hair back on both sides and you're just going to pin it together and this is very easy because you don't have to worry about you know adding heat to your hair or making sure that it blends all the way unless you have like really coarse hair and then of course you shouldn't be wearing uh, the virgin Indian hair. You should probably get more of like a, um, you know, like coarser texture. And then here I'm just taking my comb and I'm closing in any gaps that I see using the end of my rat tail comb. 
and then of course you want to smooth your edges and just use a brush to kind of like lay it down flat and then use your fingers to fix any pieces that are out of place and then this is how the back looks I tell you like I always get compliments and people ask me you know if it's my real hair how long I've been growing my hair out and whatnot it looks very natural and it's very low maintenance you don't have to do much so hope you guys enjoy rate and subscribe